Okay, so now we're going to show you a laser cut flap. They're going to call this bladeless LASIK. Uh, this is with a laser. It's cutting a flap with a laser, and that little ring thing you saw is basically the laser cutting a flap, making little, it's actually little bubbles in the cornea that connect. It's using a femtosecond laser, and it's cutting laser, okay? So um, this is basically cutting a LASIK flap with a laser, which is called bladeless LASIK. It's also called eye LASIK. It's also called femtosecond. And there are many different lasers now that uh, can do this. Uh, this, uh, this manufacturer is actually advertising that it's, it's a fast speed. There are some problems you can get, okay? You can see the, it's trying to make two of these patterns to get them all contiguous and you can lift it up. Sometimes you could see, not in this case because this is a manufacturer's tape, it's going to be a perfect one, but sometimes you could see it's not a fully uh, dissected flap. And then this is a, a blunt tool that the surgeon is using to dissect, but sometimes you can't make a dissection because some of it's hung up. It's like not cut or something. But this one's fine because, again, this is like a demo tape. It's going to be a perfect case. Now, you can see the edges are perfect. And because the epithelium or skin of the eye is coming up with the flap, it's on top of the flap not being removed, then the recovery is quick. I mean, this is going to be a one- to two-day recovery really quick. The LASIK and is why uh, people are like, oh, I had this thing done. I came back to work the next day. It's because all you have to heal is the edge of the flap, and that's it. The epithelium doesn't have to grow back. The downside is you could have a bad flap. You could have a flap stria, which are wrinkles in the flap. You could have, uh, when you put the flap back, you're only lining it up manually, by the way. So you're just eyeballing it, and uh, it could be a little a scance or a skew, and that could cause induced astigmatism. Um, again, you could get hit. Now, this is the laser going off, okay? So now we're just removing some cornea to get rid of the prescription. Um, you could have the flap uh, rolled up or wrinkled. A big problem is epithelial ingrowth. So basically, the skin of the eye can go underneath the flap instead of just healing on the edges. That's a big problem because you have to lift up the flap again. You're going to scrape off the epithelium. If it happens too much uh, and it's too persistent, um, sometimes you have to sew the edges shut to, to get the epithelium not growing in, that could cause induced astigmatism. And then also, if you have enough epithelial cells underneath the flap, you can melt the flap. And clearly, when you're missing your flap, you're not going to see well. Now he's just irrigating underneath the flap to just get rid of any debris. That's another thing. You have debris under the flap, and if it's bad, you have to lift up the flap again and then get rid of the debris. Um, you could also have inflammation under the flap. So every complication that you could have with the metal flap, you could basically have with the laser flap, although the incidence of the complications is less. And um, also you can cut thinner flaps. So you can treat higher prescriptions because you're not wasting tissue with the flap. Um, but then again, obviously the logical conclusion of cutting thinner, thinner flaps is just not cutting a flap at all, which is the surface ablation. That's why when you do metal blade, a uh, lace sick, the upper limit's probably something like minus eight. If you do a thin flap with the laser, the upper limit's probably something like minus nine. And if you do a non-cutting like uh, lace sec or something like that, your upper limit's all the way up to minus 19 because you're not cutting the flaps. You get another 100 microns of tissue to work with. And that's pretty much it, okay? So now it's just smoothing out the flap, trying to make it look nice and regular so you don't have any wrinkles or stria or debris. And that's pretty much the case.